Alright guys, so we got some good news. So a couple days ago I made a video talking about the possibility of this state of play happening in March. Now this was from Sony and for a little bit of context, Sony usually has these state of plays where they showcase some new games or showcase some games that have already been announced and that show gameplay of that set game. Now this month, March, was supposed to have one of those state of plays, and I can safely say and happily that it is happening tomorrow, Wednesday, March 9th, I was about to say June, March 9th, here are the times on screen for you guys, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but if you guys, it's going to be on YouTube and on Twitch if you guys want to watch that, I'll be happily live streaming it, most likely, I'm not too sure, I'd never live stream here on the channel, but I will be attending it, like I will be looking at it myself it just in case if anything happens breaking news or something i'll be one of the first to cover it and i'll have everything set to go now the state of play is happening tomorrow and apparently this time around it's going to have a heavy focus on japanese developers man if that isn't coincidental enough capcom is obviously based in japan right and this is good for a number of reasons right and we're gonna be jumping into that because this year we'll have or i mean this month uh, for their state of play it will have a heavy focus on japanese developers and hopefully all the other games that are listed for this event go smoothly and i hope it's all great for them but the ones that i'm going to be primarily focused on is capcom and that is with their games and their content for their games now the first thing i'm going to be going over is some games that could be announced or some dlc that could be announced or just some gameplay for games that have already been announced but are not currently out the first one resident evil dlc this was a no-brainer we still haven't seen any dlc i predicted that this was going to come around the one year anniversary of resident evil Eight, right and that was on may 7th 2021 when the game came out it's going to be one year later mark may 7th 2022 which is about two months away now the next thing we could probably see is the resident evil 4 reveal this is highly unlikely to me the fact that because they just announced street fighter and pragmata not that long ago and i think these are two of the games that they're going to be releasing first and that's what i personally think now this, the third game that they or just to go off my list resident evil outrage could possibly be announced man that's highly unlikely because i think it was pretty much canned and that's very unfortunate man that's very unfortunate but i just thought it would be the possibility of it now this is one of the last things that i think more likely we will get gameplay of uh so we might see game i already mentioned i think i did uh pragmata or street fighter might get uh, some gameplay shown and to top it all off resident evil 2 7 and 3 of the remix and the 7 uh seventh entry in this franchise sorry uh might finally get some gameplay of the new uh i'm sorry they're finally gonna get some gameplay for their visually enhanced graphics that are coming to the ps5 and xbox series x and s and that's what i think is going to be most likely shown off tomorrow alongside the resident evil 8 dlc i mean come on man this is an event and it has a heavy focus on japanese developers i can just see this going hand in hand come on man like this this is just literally a perfect opportunity that's pretty much all i got for today's video man i hope you guys definitely did enjoy it, and i will catch you guys in the next one